Surf rescue boats have been part of the Australian surf life-saving scene since 1907. Powered craft first began to appear in the late 1950s and inflatable rescue boats, or IRBs, were introduced in the 1970s. These craft are now an invaluable part of our integrated aquatic rescue operations. Safety is extremely important when operating an IRB, as rescues are often performed in rough conditions. Thorough knowledge of correct crewing positions is essential to maintain balance in the boat, improve response times during rescues, and to ensure the health and safety of the crew. There are two main positions used by IRB crew, the locked-in position and the conventional position. The locked-in position provides stability in rough conditions and when heading out to sea through the white water zone. The locked-in position helps you remain stable and balanced in the boat, minimises the possibility of rollover and reduces the risk of injury. In open water and when returning to shore, you should use the conventional crewing position. This position shifts your body weight further back in the boat, allowing you to use your weight to adjust the balance of the boat as directed by the IRB driver. In the locked-in position, you should sit on the starboard pontoon towards the bow of the IRB in front of the crew handle. Position your left foot under the crew foot strap. Your right leg should be positioned securely under the spray dodger with your right foot placed in a position of comfort. Grasp the bow rope with your right hand, approximately 20 centimetres from the top, using the knots in the rope for grip. Leaning forward, press your right shoulder firmly into the bow of the IRB. In this braced position, your hand and shoulder should almost touch. Grasping the bow rope handle with your left hand, pull the bow rope around your hip to grasp the crew handle behind. If you cannot reach the crew handle, place your hand firmly to your lower back to maintain tension on the rope. The most important element of the locked-in position is maintaining tension on the bow rope, which provides control to the crew member in rough conditions. You can adjust the bow rope before leaving shore by retying the knots or when in the boat by shifting your left hip towards the rear of the IRB. Practice using the locked-in position in small conditions first, then gradually build your exposure to different surf conditions as your confidence and skill levels increase. In the conventional position, you should sit upright on the starboard pontoon behind the crew handle, facing the bow of the boat. Your left foot remains securely under the crew foot strap, with your left hand grasping the bow rope handle and your right hand grasping the crew handle. This position allows you to adjust for waves and shift your body weight as directed by the IRB driver. This will balance the boat while navigating the surf and performing turns. When transitioning from the locked-in position to the conventional crewing position, you will need to let go of the bow rope with your right hand and shift your weight towards the back of the IRB. Seated behind the crew handle, return your body to an upright position. Grasp the crew handle with your right hand and bring your left hand out in front of your body. This should be done in a fluid motion. You will need to practice transitioning on land before you head out in the surf. Skilled, well-trained IRB drivers and crew are a vital part of surf life-saving rescue operations. Following these simple procedures when crewing an IRB will enhance safety and minimise the risk of injury. For more information on IRB safety and procedures, refer to the SLSA Powercraft Training Manual or talk to your club's IRB training officer. Thank you for volunteering to help protect the public and save lives on our beaches and waterways.